So whenever you have your research skills, they give you the ability to search for, locate, and extract, organize, evaluate, and use or present information which is relevant to a particular topic. Uh, so you do the process of a detailed and method. Uh, there's certain uh, points that are here to talk about what is the definition of research, for instance. So there are different types of research. There are con quantitative research. There's qualitative research. Um, there's um, the definition of research has already been spoken about. Now, there are certain characteristics of research and certain examples of research, which we'll just share now. Uh, so, yeah. So what's academic research? So it's it's the it they are a set of skills, uh, learning strategies and time management tools that will help you or students learn and absorb school lessons. Let's say just an example of academic research. And for most students, learning is about much more than accessing just just information. So teachers include academic research in their lessons in order to uh, for students to master certain topics. And then these skills, they develop and they have lifelong impacts on the students. So uh, why is research conducted? It's basically conducted to identify potential and new customers at times. Uh, you want to sometimes understand existing customers. You want to set pragmatic roles. You want to develop productive market strategies or address business challenges. Or you want to put together a business expansion plan or to identify new business opportunities. These are all the other reasons that research can be conducted for. So it's not only academic research. Uh, research can be conducted only for the any topic. National Assembly, can you talk Recently, you seeing something? Okay, so we're talking about different research methods here. So there are certain qualitative and quantitative research methods. Both are important and both have their different properties. Any idea what qualitative and qualita quantitative research methods are? Um, quantitative is with numbers and qualitative is described with words. Very good. Yeah, very good. Uh, so I, I think we'll just finish till um, quantitative methods. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll share some research topics with you uh, so that you can have a flavor of what you would want to understand what you want to do. Um, some people might not be sure uh, and they might want to change their mind um, regarding their research project. So yeah, qualitative research, it's a method where you collect data and you have conversations in that data. And they're open-ended questions. There are certain open-ended questions and then there are closed-ended question. A closed-ended question may be, if I'm asking you a question, let's say, uh, do you... Um, let's say, do you wake up early in the morning, let's say 9 a.m. or let's say consider 8 a.m., yes or no? So that yes or no is a, a closed-ended question. Whereas if I want to ask an open-ended question, I might ask what are the benefits of uh, waking up early in the morning? So that's an open-ended question where you can have any, you can write anything you want to. So that's not a yes or no um, question or that's not a question that has just uh, one or two or three or four answers that the uh, the interviewer has set for you. You can have as much um, answers for this open-ended questions as you like. Um, they're non-numerical, so they don't have numbers, they don't have percentages. <clears throat> and the different types of qualitative research methods uh, so you may have one-to-one -one interviews with a person. Uh, you may have focus groups. So in, fo in a focus group, you may have 15 or 20. You might have 10 or 12 people. It depends upon what the topic is. So you have a group of people on, on whom you're doing a certain study or you're um, conducting a certain interview. 
So it's not a one-to-one -one interview. It's not one person. It's a group of people that you interview uh, in a particular setup. And then there's ethnographic studies. Any idea what ethnography is? Has anyone heard about it? So ethnography is where a person lives and what is the impact of that person's surroundings on themselves. And it goes through different stages of life that you see um, and you study on them. And then comes text analysis. So you've given you've been given a text and you analyze that text and you write about it. Um, and then there's one type of qualitative method, which is a case study. So you have a study that you do on a certain case that you have uh, in, uh, in a health or social care setup and um, you write about that. So that is another instance of a case study. The next uh, example of research methods that we have are quantitative methods. So quantitative methods are, they deal with numbers. So there are different types of, or methods of quantitative research again. So there's surveys that you can do, you, there are different descriptive researches, and then going one step ahead, there are correlational research in, you want, in which you do advanced analysis. Uh, so you would want, uh, your research is only valuable if it gives you accurate and reliable um, data. So whenever you have incorrect results, it doesn't help anyone. So, So it's essential when you have your data, it should be valid. That means it should be it should be well founded. It should be logical. It should be rigorous and it should not be biased in any way. Uh, it should be impartial from all biases. It should be accurate where means it, uh, it means that it should be free of uh, errors as much as possible. So sometimes you you might have errors, but then you adjust for those errors and it would you would want to in, include required details in it. It should be reliable where other people who want to investigate. Uh, so that's, let's say you want to work on autism and uh, or autism in young children, let's say. So if there's another person who wants to, or if I want to research uh, seeing your topic, it gives me a very good idea of what has been done before. And then I can do it in a similar way in a different setup. So I want, might want to do autis, autism in younger people instead of in children. So uh, I'll use your methods. And in that way, I will get similar results as yours. Or um, your results should be, you should be a guiding uh, or a guidance for me to do my research in an, on a different uh, population. It should be timely. So if I'm working on COVID-19 and it's risk factors, it's not timely. It's not current. So it's out of frame. The, the, time, the time frame is not correct. Um, so it should be timely and it should complete uh, be complete. So it includes all the requirements that you ha uh, need for your decision making. So this is all that we've just talked about. I'll share another... Um, uh, website with you just a minute. everyone see this so this is the health foundation um this gives you as i was saying it gives you a whole list of research topics that you would want to work on so let's say children and young people so there i hope you can see them uh, this that I've opened up. Yeah, so the yeah. different topics that you would want to work on. So let's say children's places, how can they shape health and influence social and uh, economic outcomes? There's research to support and inquiry into young people's future health prospects. 
engage to understand people's health prospects. So if we want to open this research project, so you can develop your research project uh, based on this. Um, stop sharing and then I'll start sharing again so that you can see the exact thing that I've opened up. Yeah, this is the thing. Yeah, so just go through this um, this link. I'll share it with you in the ch group chat also. Just have a look at what projects have been done already. So this is a project that, where they want to engage to understand young people's health prospects. So uh, there's a context given to you, which we talked about, uh, the brief background or the abstract. There are the aims and objectives given to you over here. Uh, so if you want to work on such a project, there's a little bit of, of um, um, like uh, the details have been given to you. So this is one topic that I've just shown you. There's several other topics that you would want to just look at and have an understanding. Um, whatever interests you, just have a look at them, um, these topics. So they're different topics right from A to Z. So whatever you would want to work on, it's all there. Uh, just see research yeah, projects, yeah, how they've yeah, been done. Yeah, someone just joined in. Mm. Do we have someone who's joined now? I just heard someone, sorry. I just need to uh, update um, the attendance. Yeah, so uh, that's about this. And if I share, I'll share this link with you just now in the group chat. So if, if you just see this link that I've shared with you, just uh, copy and paste this with yourselves, uh, keep it with yourselves and have a look at the research projects that have been mentioned over here. Uh, you can work on any of these projects, but uh, uh, the requirement is that you would want to discuss the research project with your um, with your tutor, which is obviously myself. Uh, so uh, any research project that you would want to do uh, should be justified. So why do you want to do this research? Um, how would it help you in your uh, whatever, wherever you're working. Uh, is it going to be beneficial to anyone that you're working with? Or is it, how is it going to be beneficial uh, for, for the organization that you're working uh, in? Um, so yeah, that's it from my side. Uh, any questions on this, uh, on today's um, session? No, thank you. Okay, I'm sorry no. for, uh, like, just a minute, I'll yes. stop recording.